the first, actually the initial idea came between Virginia DeCarl, Barry McGibbon, Virginia DeCarl being a tree marker, Barry McGibbon being McGibbon Forestry. And we've always had BAFIA, Bancroft Area Forest Industry Association, as our group. The idea got started about a year and a half ago and kicking around the idea of just educating the, the younger people about forestry so that they understand that the forest products that they that they have, that they use every day, that it's coming from a forest, and it's coming from a sustainable type of forest uh, practice. dispel the myths of forestry. A lot of the stuff that, that gets thought of about forestry, we're trying to dispel some of that ignorance through, through knowledge. So we're trying to get them to, uh, by learning about tree marking, by learning about um, harvesting and tree planting, learning about their trees and how each one has different shade tolerances, just starting to get a kind of an introduction how complicated this the science is they realize there's a lot more to it than just cutting down trees how we're preserving wildlife how we're preserving creeks there's there's a massive amount of planning that goes into this around 1,200 people that are employed uh, directly in, in the Bancroft area in, in the forest industry, whether it's milling or, or uh, logging or here in the uh, uh, forest management sector. Hi, I'm Lucille Kyle and I'm the school board trustee from the Hastings Prince Edward District School Board representing North Hastings. And I just uh, am so excited to be here today to see the students walking around um, learning and have an appreciation or can learn an appreciation for our forestry and um, they're tagging trees today, they're planting trees, they're learning what the trees are, the value of the trees, the products that they use that trees are in, and it's such a learning curve to be outside and hands-on. And even the heavy equipment, some of them have never seen it before, they don't understand the value of, of the people who are in the bush and the work that they do and how hard the work is. You can count which trees are in and which trees are out. Uh, my name is Barry McGibbon, I'm a local logging contractor in Bancroft, and. Uh, I've come here today to uh, help educate some kids on the importance of forestry in our community and how it is the, the root system of, uh, of our community and without it, our community would, would probably fold up and disappear. We're, we're having an opportunity to work here uh, with some professionals that are in the forestry industry. Uh, the, the students are, are in the Bancroft area and have all kinds of exposure uh, to, to these opportunities down the road and so we, we came across just a, a couple of our farmer students that are actually working the equipment that uh, we have on site here today and so it's a real eye-opener for them to see down the road maybe five six years some of our kids that we brought here today may very well land a job in the forest industry. So we're through through that just being here learning this stuff they're going to get a different attitude and, and we can guarantee by the end of the day they will not look at the, same, the forestry in the same way at all and we start that process of people looking at this in a different light, which is far past due to, to, to happen. And, uh, we want to teach the kids that there are options. If they want to live in a small town and enjoy the, the outdoors and, and be a, a naturalist or a conservationist, they can. And instead of uh, fighting industry, you can get involved with it and help change from the inside and, and bring new ideas, fresh ideas, and, uh, and uh, make the industry more vibrant. I think the kids too get a, a real appreciation for what we have in our area. A lot of them even though uh, we live in an area that's got a lot of forestry, don't know that much about it. 
Uh, so it is good for them to learn a little bit more about the area. And, and one of the things that I think really hit home with them today is, is how dependent uh, on forestry our area is. And that without the forestry industry here, a lot of the other jobs that we have uh, in town would not be there. Um, I learned from uh, today when uh, Mr. McGibbon was talking to us how important um, Bancroft or the lumber is. The lumber industry is to Bancroft and how dependent the town of Bancroft is. And it's often out of sight, but it's, it's, it's very vital to our survival here in our small community. How Canada really relies on forestry as a renewable uh, industry. Two is forestry is, is like really bad at promoting itself. We seem to go back in the bush with our tail between our legs and go back to work and who cares about what the public thinks and we got to start caring about what the public thinks because it's, it's, it's definitely having an effect on policy on so many things. So. Appreciate the fact that, that the forestry people have brought this to our schools today and that they have the um, opportunity to be here.